But we're really watching what's taking place in the southern portion of the country right now. That's right. We're watching Debbie and the impacts that we'll see across the southeast and eventually here in Hampton Roads looking at some rain as we head towards the end of the week, potentially some heavy rain as well. And we have been tracking just a few of those showers and thunderstorms. Taylor was tracking them on daybreak earlier this morning down towards the Pamlico Sound through parts of Dare County. And then we saw a few more pop up here north of the Albemarle, but those have pretty much fallen apart. We'll call for an isolated shower too as we go here through the afternoon. I think most of us will just see the cloudy skies every once in a while, a little peak of sunshine through the area. And you can see that here on Futurecast, just a pop up shower in a couple of spots. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. It'll feel more like the 90s because of that humidity that's out there. And then this evening, any showers that do develop will dissipate after sunset. Temperatures in the mid 70s, even by 11 o'clock tonight. So a muggy night tonight, and we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Temperatures starting out in the low to mid 70s. This is Tuesday morning. You can keep track of the time there. At the top right hand corner of the screen and then into the afternoon, a chance for a couple of showers, maybe a little bit of a better chance tomorrow than we're seeing today, especially south side into North Carolina. Temperatures back up into the mid to upper 80s. Tomorrow evening, a couple of showers or a thunderstorm in a few spots, and then that steadier rain starts to work its way closer to Hampton Roads as Debbie starts to work its way up the southeast coastline. Here's Wednesday morning. Temperatures in the mid 70s, some steadier rain across North Carolina, eventually crossing over into Virginia by later into the day Wednesday. And these rain chances will continue to go up as we go through the middle and the end of the week as those remnants of Debbie get closer to Hampton Roads. So looking like a pretty soggy end to the week here in Hampton Roads. Just isolated showers the next couple of days becoming more scattered and numerous towards Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Now here is the latest on Debbie again made landfall around 7 a.m. through the Big Bend of Florida working its way here towards the north northeast at around eight miles per hour. Right now, just south of Valdosta, Georgia, with winds of 70 miles per hour. And again, next 24 hours, just slowly moving across South Georgia, eventually towards the coastline of South Carolina and North Carolina. Still some questions beyond about Wednesday as to whether the center will move back out over the Atlantic, will it be a little bit farther inland or closer to the coastline. Either way, it does look like a wet end to the week and the potential again for heavy, heavy rain through the low country of South Carolina and Georgia. Mostly cloudy right now. It's 85 degrees, though. You factor in that humidity at 72% and the dew point of 75 degrees. It feels more like 93 degrees out there this afternoon with a light wind coming in out of the south at 6 miles per hour. 83 Franklin, 87 Gloucester. It's 85 in Richmond, 82 in Manio, 81 Duck, 82 in Portsmouth, 87 Williamsburg, and 84 in Matthews. This afternoon, 89 degrees, a shower, thunderstorm, especially off towards the south. Most of us just looking at mostly cloudy skies and down to 75 tonight, just a stray shower or a thunderstorm and an isolated shower thunderstorm tomorrow. Again, most of us will be dry, 88 degrees, but it'll be quite humid. Southerly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mid 80s into Wednesday and Thursday as the remnants of Debbie get closer to Hampton Roads as that rain shield starts to expand northward and really Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday watching Debbie working its way towards the southeast coast. Even into the start of the weekend, a good chance at some scattered showers or thunderstorms, 87 degrees. And then finally, by Sunday, it looks like those rain chances will go down. Temperatures in the mid 80s.